Why does our wet hair stick together? When the water is running out of the shower head or the faucet, have you ever wondered why our hair looks like this, clumped together, not in individual strands, wet? And why we have to use a hair dryer or towel to get it to something like this, in individual strands? Why does our wet hair stick together? We all know that positive and negative charges attract. We also know that water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. But what you might not know is that hydrogen is positively charged and oxygen is negatively. You see, in an atom, there's something called electron rings. The f they contain electrons. The first ring contains two, the second ring contains eight, and the third ring can also contain eight. In a hydrogen atom, there is only one ring with one electron on it. But in an oxygen atom, there are two rings. The first one fully contained by two, and the second one with only six. The way I learned how to tell if, if something was positively or negatively charged was that, let's say, this almost has a full ring, but it's happy because if it gives up one, it doesn't lose anything, and if it loses one, it doesn't lose anything. So it's happy or positively charged. This, however, is only two electrons away from becoming fully complete. So it is sad that it doesn't have those two electrons, therefore it is negatively charged. So now that we know why hydrogen is positively charged and oxygen is negatively charged, and that positive and negative charges attract, let's look at this. Here we see three water molecules. In a water molecule, the two hydrogen atoms, where they are, that side is dominantly positively charged, and the other side, where the negatively charged oxygen atom is, is dominantly negatively charged. So when two water molecules come together, the negatively charged side on one of them and the positively charged side on one of them are attracted, yet they're two different water molecules. Now. Imagine there is a thousand water molecules. The same thing would happen, negative sides of one water molecule meeting other positive sides and vice versa. So this creates a chain and eventually gets to a drop of water. Now, this is a diagram representing hair and water molecules. The blue lines represent hair and these are all water molecules. The orange is where the negative and the positive meet up. So when all these water molecules are coming together and binding each other too, and our hair gets stuck in the middle of it all, therefore clumping together. Because once we come out of a shower, a bath, a swimming pool, a lake, the water source stops and all the water comes together and creates clumps. I hope you have all liked, enjoyed, and learned something from this video about why water molecules are attracted to each other and why hair is too. Thank you.